Okay, so this looks like it's going to be pretty easy. This is going to be just like single variable calculus. Set the derivative equal to zero, find the critical points, boom, we're done. Well, let's see what happens when we try this. Let's say that we've got a function f of x and y is x cubed plus y cubed minus 3xy. Compute the partial in x, and what do we get? We get 3x squared minus 3y. Then compute the partial with respect to y. We get 3y squared minus 3x. Now, we set them both equal to zero. We have two equations, two unknowns. They're nonlinear, but you can solve them. Take a few moments and check on your own that the solutions are precisely 0, 0, which is kind of obvious, and the other solution is 1, 1. Check that that's all there is, and then, and then what do we do? Well, I suppose we could evaluate um, the function at these points. Uh, at 0, 0, we get 0, of course. And at 1, 1, we get negative 1. So I don't know, maybe one of them's a local min, the other's a local max. This, this is not really helping a lot. And what's worse is that clearly the function goes to infinity as x and y go to positive infinity. And it goes to minus infinity as x and y go to minus infinity because of these cubic terms. So what that means is that we don't have global maxes or mins. These are local at best. And just by knowing the function values, it's, it's not clear what they are or how to figure it out. So what do we do? Well, we could try graphing the function. This is a function with just two inputs. That's not so bad. So we could draw a picture and take a look at, at what we get. It's pretty clear that we have these two critical points from a contour plot. It's, well, it's a little weird. I'm, not, I'm maybe not so sure what to make of this. But it, it does seem as though one of those critical points is a local min. Maybe if we zoomed in and looked more carefully, we could verify this. And when we do so, then it's really obvious that the critical point at 1, 1 is a local min. But what about that, that other critical point? Um, what is that? Is that a local min? Is it a local max? That other critical point is going to be something new, something that we have never seen before. It is called a saddle point. If you notice, it goes up along one direction, but down along another. It's something like a half max, half min, a hybrid sort of critical point. Now you might say, well, I don't care. I don't care. I only want local maxes or mins. Oh no, you should care about saddle points. But what do we do if we can't draw the, the picture and investigate? How do we determine local maxes, local mins, saddles? That comes next.